Hey everyone, welcome back for yet another weekly video. Hey, if you're new to the channel, my name is Austin and this is AP Expedition. AP Expedition is a place where I share some of my favorite hobbies and passions and also where I share a little bit of my life's adventures. Now today we have another sweet review for you, one of my uh, new Bluetooth comm systems. This is not sponsored by Cena in any way, but I just wanted to share with you all, in case you're considering purchasing a Bluetooth comm system, my thoughts and honest review of owning this Bluetooth comm system. Now let's dive into the review. So my main reasons for choosing the Cena 20S Evo uh, several of my motorcycle friends already had this model. Uh, I was suggested by several of my friends and then just happened to ask what my other buddies I rode with um, were already running and what they recommended and they all happened to already run the 20S so it seemed like an easy choice for me at that point or just starting with what my friends already had. The ease of use and minimal amount of buttons on this Bluetooth uh, headset really uh, attracted me to it because I I think of the basic functions and I don't want too many buttons especially when you're on a motorcycle uh, I want to be the least distracted by other things going on and focus on the ride and not have technical di difficulties or user error due to buttons and things like that so when pairing your phone with the 20s Evo it's extremely easy and you can listen to navigation and your music simultaneously. Uh, I just that's another reason for me going with this. Uh, another thing is you can pair up to eight riders at a time, and that is something that was important to me because even though I don't primarily ride in a big group, sometimes we have up to like maybe four or five riders, and if we're all wanting to chat about the ride or what's coming up ahead, uh, it really makes sense to be able to pair. To a greater majority or if you ride with a passenger and you're with uh, another friend or family member that also has a passenger and you're all wanting to chat or be linked or paired on the same comm system it makes sense to have a larger uh, pairing format another reason was that you can pair the 20s Evo to other brands of headset it does not necessarily have to be a Cena headset and then lastly, uh, it is waterproof. So the waterproof ability is obviously a big one because I'm not a fair weather rider. Now this wouldn't be a honest review if I didn't mention some of the gripes that I also have or encountered with the 20S Evo. One of which being, uh, it's something else to mount on your helmet. However, it doesn't add any sort of noticeable weight or any sort of wind drag. I'm just one of those individuals who prefers more of sleek lines and aerodynamics and mounting something else. As much as I love like having a GoPro for footage and things like that on the helmet, uh, it is something that just is another added mount on your helmet. So if that's something that matters to you, Bluetooth comm system might not be for you. <laughs> I mean, they all have to mount some way or form or fashion. So. That's just part of it. So depending on your helmet, whether it offers an indented place for the speakers to Velcro or not, could make the speakers press on your ears or possibly not. So I know with my HJC R470 ST, they have already a indention inside the helmet for different speakers to go for your Bluetooth comm system. And I know some helmets don't run that. So if you have a helmet that doesn't already have indentions, these speakers do obviously stand out a little bit. So if your helmet is fit properly and it's kind of snug already, adding a headset in there could cause irritation on your ears where the speakers will sit. Another gripe I have is the price. Now these are by far not the cheapest comm system on the market at around $200 a piece. But in this market, I will say from what I've seen and heard and looked at reviews and stuff like that, you pay for what you get. So uh, really, uh, 
I don't have that many complaints with uh, the 20S Evo. Um, so the price, and, and I managed to get a bundle. So the 20S Evo does come in a dual pack. So for me and my wife, that was perfect. So it actually ended up being just a little bit cheaper. I think it was somewhere around 30 or $40 cheaper uh, shipped to me um, by getting the dual pack compared to buying one each. So something to consider there. So the last gripe that I have can also be kind of a pro to uh, the installation can be kind of tricky. However, Cena has great support uh, with the short installation video that is on YouTube. So that's also a pro that there is installation guide out there by the manufacturer. And lastly, I'll mention some more pros of this Bluetooth comm system and just some of the added bonuses that come with it. Uh, number one would be the music sharing. So say you're riding with one of your friends, uh, me and Brandon actually, uh, some of you may know him from the channel. Me and Brandon were on a trip where we were both jamming out to our own music. So that is also capable. You can be listening to your own music and be able to jump on the intercom and talk to your other rider and you know notify each other about road hazards or turns or directions whatever uh, but also if you want to listen to the same music you can music share with these headsets now when we were music sharing it does depend i guess on the distance so if you get kind of separated the music can tend to cut out for the person who is not playing natural music who is getting the music shared to so Cena states that the uh, Bluetooth intercom can connect up to just over a mile and I would say that's pretty accurate as long as you maintain line of sight with your other rider that you're paired with so on our trip that Brandon and I were on we uh, were I mean that lived up to what Cena says here now the only thing would be a physical barrier so if you're in a tight twisty section with actual roads that bend around the mountains and you visually get separated then there could be a loss of uh, Bluetooth connection but the headsets will sync back up another added bonus is the um, I guess you'd call it like remembrance pairing or whatever where if you're synced with a rider before and you're you know on a trip you're getting on and off the bike for stopping for gas or getting lunch or getting to a scenic overlook or something um, and you turn your headsets off when you turn your headsets back on after they have already been paired they will remember each other so you don't have to resync every time you turn off um, your headset get off the bike you know whatever so they will um, reconnect automatically and that is a great feature that I really enjoy and the last bonus I'll mention in this video again I could go on and on about these uh, headsets I really have enjoyed these three different mics that Cena sends with you in this uh, headset pack so you get a wired boom mic so you have a wire that connects to an actual hard bend uh, mic and then you also have a wired microphone that is strictly just a wire and uh, that's actually what we run in our headsets and it sounds exceptional um, and then it comes with a static boom mic so it's actually a more of a fixed microphone that's a little bit longer so for open face riders that would probably be what you would want to use but full face uh, riders would probably want to go with the wired microphone but again you have those options already in the box for you and you can interchange them so easily it's it's really a great feature all right that's a wrap for this week's honest review video thank you so much for sticking around at the very end of this video if it was helpful to you uh, give the video a thumbs up I appreciate that and uh, if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing Guys, I have a ton of fun making these videos and uh, seeing the comments where I'm helping people out or answering questions. I absolutely love doing that for you all. Um, it's my dream to do this full time one day. So I really appreciate all the subscribers and the whole AP Expedition family. And above all else, to all the AP Expedition family, and even if you're just a new viewer tuning in, 
Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, guys. Uh, I love all of you, and we'll catch you in next week's video, all right? Peace.